Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Manser and this is part two of our Christmas decoration. And today I am starting off with my mantle. I got this beautiful garland from Home Goods and it was only $29.99. Now it is not lit though and I do have a hack for that. I'm going to make it work with something that I got so just stay tuned with me. So the first thing you want to do once you get your garland because they're all mumbled up and just one big ugly pulp. You just want to go ahead and touch every branch. You want to spread it out as much as possible. So when I'm spreading it I go like one branch to the top, one to the bottom one to the side that way they're not all facing one direction it just makes it look better okay now once i do that i am going in with this fairy lights this was like um five some from walmart very cheap and it's battery operated and it has like three different settings this is what it looks like i've gone ahead and added some batteries to it and i tested it and it is working so i am going to attempt to twist this into my garland so that it will look like a prelit one but just battery operated and guys look at that it worked and you can just press the button and it changes So this is what it looks like with the lights on and off. So I am going to add this beautiful pink bottle brush tree that I got from Hobby Lobby. It is really nice because this year's theme in their living room, it's going to be all shades of neutral with a touch of that beautiful pink. So this was $11.99 and I got it at 50% off of course from Hobby Lobby. So I just have two of that and they're going to go on both sides of the mantle very nice it just elevates the look and ties it all together now our garland is just plain and simple this is how it came after i did my thing but i am about to jazz it up by adding some pics so these are beautiful beautiful um poinsettias that i got from hobby lobby as well they come like just closed up so you just gotta open it and it is so gorgeous it is all sparkly so girly and it has the hint of gold around the trims of the leaves and also in the middle so beautiful and i think it's gonna add to that glam look that i'm going for always jazz up your garland just the way you would do with your christmas tree and believe me you're gonna love the results i had people over for thanksgiving and um i got so many compliments with what i did on the garland okay so this is what i did with it so I'll just continue adding more stuff and i will show you what the final results look like
okay so i now got the space oil nicely clean it had a lot of grit on it so now i am going ahead to switch out my main pillow so i just try to keep most of my pillows neutral and switch out one of them so i am taking out my teal pillow and adding in this beautiful merry christmas um pillow <laughs> don't even pay attention to me i was jamming to some music so i got this pillow from i believe from home goods no from hobby lobby i actually got two of them from hobby lobby and they were not expensive at all it was cheaper than what i was finding at home goods really and it just perfectly matches what i'm going for in the living room again to save money you want to keep most of your stuff neutral if you go for that kind of look and then you can accent different you can use like colors to add hints here and there you know as accent pieces such as pillows they are really cheap to do i'm also going to be switching out this candle this um i've never even lit this candle but it does smell so good i just like to leave it open it is called sea salt something like that in air so i am going to switch it out with my bath and body works single candle and this is champagne toast one of my favorite favorite classic smell for the holidays so here it is it is a single wick candle and i don't even usually burn these because you know they're sitting so close to my lamps and i don't want to set my house on fire so what i do i just open it and let me tell you each time you walk past it you can smell something so good and it just looks so pretty so i have that on both sides where i have um i have it on both side tables in the living room and you guys i have also my hubby just brought out the christmas tree and i have not done anything with it that's going to be in the next video i don't want this video to be too long so i will show you how i decorate my christmas tree and the rest of the house in my next video but this is what the living room looks like right now and i'm loving it now the last thing i would do here is to switch out my picks that i got these are really tall they're really long they're even longer than the vase you could see that i even had to bend them a little so they could fit better in the vase the vase is tall but it's not as tall so these are really nice i had this throughout fall i'm kind of going to use this for like all season but i just wanted to switch it out for christmas and putting bring, uh, bringing something that would just tie in my pink look better this is my first time doing this shade for christmas i usually stick with the the traditional christmas colors the red the greens the white all of that good stuff but i got these these were 9.99 at hobby lobby and i got them 50 percent off so they were not bad at all i think i'm gonna go back and get a a third one maybe in a different shade they have this champagne shade like a really nice tan color that looks so beautiful because i got one of those um the poinsettia clips or picks for my tree so this is what it looks like so i'm just going to stick those into my vase to help just bring in all those colors together you know add a pop of color between those two beautiful teal chairs i got going on if you were new on this channel my name is mancer on this channel i do a lot of shop with me videos cleaning videos and you know styling organizing all of that <laughs> homeless stuff okay so if that's what you like go ahead and hit on that subscribe button now in the meantime i have my console table over here i have em emptied most of it already took out all the foil decor the foil candle and all of that so i'm just going to give it a quick wipe and then i would proceed to do my touch on it if you're still watching this video and you're enjoying it please go ahead and support your girl by giving the video a thumbs up it really helps my videos out and it also lets me know what kind of content you would like to watch so i am adding these beautiful tree these cones that i got last year from burlington i believe these are really glam and beautiful and they are big like they are tall you can see it's sitting on my console table and it is really high that is how glam it was i forgot how much i got them for but i got them last year and it was such a good buy for me they're not cheap though but i really really like what they look like so i saved them so this is what i'm working with and i also picked up this beautiful really nice slender tree 
from Hobby Lobby, I believe. Yes, it was from Hobby Lobby. And of course, everything they have is 50% off. So I went with this. I am still working with the gold and the silvers. You know, a lot of that neutral colors, especially around here on the console table. I did not want to do too much at all. So I like to work in groups of threes. So I also got this beautiful reindeer. It is so cute, so sparkly, and so glittery. Look, guys, I am so glam this year. I can't even talk to anyone. <laughs> Anyway, I will be putting this on the side as well. And then I always have this mirror tray. It is just small and slender and perfect for the console table. And to it, I'm going to add this beautiful tree that I found at Target um, Dollar Spot. It was only $5 and it lights up. You guys, can you believe that? I was so happy. I have been sleeping on Target. But you know what? I'm up and I'm following this trend. It was so beautiful. And I also found these buildings these churches so cute and they also light up both were five dollars i believe i could not believe how much good stuff target had i just i don't know i i just don't shop at target like that but anyway they were so beautiful and to add the pop of that pink color i'm going for i just brought out one of these tree ornaments from um my pack that's supposed to go on my tree so i'm just trying to see if it would look good and i think i like what it looks like i'm just gonna go ahead and trim off um the string that comes with it because it's actually an ornament and this is what it looks like it is so net it is just so beautiful really this year i really love the outcome of my space my home looks so cozy and it also smells so good because I got my favorite scented candles and I got plugins going. Beautiful. So, of course, you know, we're going to light a good candle before we uh, retire for the day i always love the scent of a good candle and you guys i also went in to add the stockings to my mantle because i was waiting for a uh, name tags that i ordered from etsy the store from etsy and it was so beautiful guys look at that it is so glam enjoy the pictures that i took for you guys and did not forget to give this video a thumbs up i will see you in my next one bye y'all